Whether it's the beginning of a level, or in the middle of battle, it's likely you thought back to an 8-bit world just by hearing these sounds. That's because video games have become embedded in the fabric of American culture. From the arcades, to your smartphone, we gotta move now. To your home, of course, video games have also become a multi-billion dollar industry, prompting researchers to try and understand the effects they have on gamers, and the results often come back negative. These aren't sounds from the war in Afghanistan. What you're hearing comes from the popular video game Call of Duty, in which gamers are put into simulated war situations. It's games like these that Cal State Northridge child and adolescent professor Joyce Brusasco says can be harmful to children and teenagers' health. Video games, typically, you sit on a couch and you just watch them and play them. So that's our 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 big focus, is that we want kids up and running around and we want them involved. Um, and we also want them to be engaged in some sort of educational activity. So just sitting on the couch working through, you know, a Mario or <laughs> something like that is not productive. I mean, it's okay to actually veg out and give that that opportunity for your brain to kind of just rest. But some of those games are not restful for brains. The negative effects of video games have been widely reported and researched on. But some recent studies show that some video games can actually trigger positive behaviors and effects on people from toddlers to seniors. And one of those positive effects has come from the introduction of motion video games, which are played on consoles such as the Nintendo Wii and Microsoft's Xbox Connect. Brusasco says because many younger and older people enjoy playing motion video games, it can actually help bring parents and their children closer together. Try to purchase games that um, are more interactive and need more than one person. A lot of those Wii games need more than one person. So if a parent actually sits down and hangs with the child and has a conversation and involves in, in some sort of banter or or fun, um, it, it helps the relationship and it helps the communication. So that's a good thing. Another unique benefit from motion video games comes from forcing gamers, younger and older, to get off the couch and move around. And a recent study from the University of Chester in England found motion video games can cause gamers to use up to 263% more energy than they would just sitting down. Stephen Loy is a kinesiology professor at Cal State Northridge. He says motion games can be a catalyst in getting kids active. Yeah, I think both both with the young kids as well as the adults. I think video games can represent the gateway, the entry, right? It's a start. It is a start. But I think that there has to be that recognition that while that's a start, then we need to advance from there. Another positive effect was discovered by researchers at the University of Auckland in New Zealand. Dr. Mateus Lucasen says they created a self-help video game designed to curb depression in adolescents. The results for Sparks were very promising in that 44% of young people that were randomized to Sparks, a computerized self-help, um, experienced remission compared to 26% of the young people randomized to treatment as usual. So remission meaning that they didn't have depressive symptoms um, after using Sparks. Sega! Back in the States, a recent University of Texas report shows video games can actually help decrease crime. Results show that from 2005 until 2009, every time a popular video game was released, crime rates dropped with every spike in sales. Finally, a study released earlier this year from researchers at Brigham Young University says three out of four non-gaming spouses wish their significant other would play video games less and pay more attention to them. But like Brusasco says, video games can potentially strengthen relationships, like in the case of Stephen Aldama and Angela Masile, a San Diego couple that says video games helped kickstart their connection. I mean, we kind of came to know each other over video games. I think, you know, going over and playing like Super Mario Brothers or something like that was, uh, was something that definitely got us closer together as friends. And then that kind of projected itself and kept going until we became, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't know, I think video games is probably one of the first things we've talked about and found out we had in common. Like, I know my older brother really didn't like Steven, but, um, I, we started playing video games together, like Steven would come over to my house after school, and so we would all just play like Super Smash Brothers together, and I think like through that they really bonded, and now they're great friends. <laughs> So although video games often get a bad rap from researchers and mass media, just remember, this potentially addicting form of entertainment can sometimes have positive effects on our lives, with moderation of course. That's game over for me, I'm Jonathan Gonzalez, KCSN.